The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the, uh, excuse me, the July 17th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us. Not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got questions but you can't call in, Stevie's got your back. Send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we've got that mixed bag out there. Now, the mix here, you've got the mixed bag inside the sectors inside the S&P 500. You've got one index that's trading the upside, which is the Dow, 75 points, the upside. The other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. S&P's off 68, NASDAQ 488, Russell's down 13, semis are down 237, trading's off 192, gold's off 40 cents, silver's off 89 pennies, lights recruiters up a buck 80, uh, natural gas off 11 cents, and the 30-year treasury down eight pip ticks, printed out at 12002. Our leader in the clubhouse to the upside is United Health Group, up nearly 3% or 16 bucks. Penumbra uh, is up at 9 bucks or 4.5%. HCA Healthcare is up 9 bucks, 2.8%. 2 Progressive is up 850. Striker Corp is up 870 to the downside. Asmill Holdings off 115 bucks, nearly 11%. Lamb Research, 7% plus off 78 bucks. Mercado Libre, 55 bucks, 3%. KLA Corp down 54, 6% there. And Super Micro down 52 bucks, about a 6% move. So we got movers and we definitely have shakers out there. <clears throat> well, let's begin the day. First, let me give you a couple of figures out here. We're going to switch screens. So uh, we'll take a look at the uh, U.S. equity futures, the daily time frames out here. That's not what's on your screen right now. You've got the Russell 2000, which we're going to come back to. But first, we're going to start by taking a look at this here. So the upper left-hand side is going to be the ES Mini. The ES Mini uh, completed a TD9 count top yesterday. Um, it um, uh, could form a Rhodesman Dominicator top today, not that you need two tops. The question is, where does price uh, close at day's end? Does it close about 56.67, which is the top of its profile? If it does, it's almost a neutral signal. Does it close below it? And if it does, then price should pull back to its buy zone. The buy zone between 56.05 and 56.26. If price were to close below that buy zone, for two consecutive sessions. Then we see a move to the breakout level established by that TD9 count pattern. That's at 550275. That's what the ES Mini is doing on a daily time frame. If we take a look at the daily time frame for the NQ at the moment, it's trading below profile support. That is at 2280. The next level of support, assuming price stays below that level, is its breakout area. That's at 19,811.75. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow has uh, attained its one to one A to B equals CD price projection. Bar number six, uh, it needs a, bull a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. Short of that, price will likely head lower. I'm mean, lower, head higher out there. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 is beyond the one to one A to B equals CD. Um, it needs a bearish reversal candle to identify a top. 
short of that price should head higher out there. So we got two of the future contracts saying I want to head lower. We've got two that are saying, you know, I may want to head higher out there. So we've got a diverse marketplace. And that's really where we're going to begin because that diverse marketplace is something that Tom G would like to take advantage of. He would like to begin a long position inside the Russell 2000. He wants to do it using dynamite. Do no using what what is not dynamite but uh, um, nitroglycerin out there uh, because it's a pretty volatile market. So, but let's go take a look at it. He wants to use it using that. I believe the TNA is the triple out there, and that's where that nitro comes in place. So, we take a look at again. Let's take a look at the daily time frame. Just the A to B equals CD pattern, and. Um, uh, if you were to get a bearish reversal candle out here, Tom, being long would not be the proper spot to go. If we take a look at the five-hour time frame chart. Now, here I probably can identify, identify some type of A to B equals CD pattern. Or maybe I can't. Pull this back even further. Uh, yeah, sort of. Um, Right now, what you've got in the five-hour time frame chart is price consolidated with inside its profile. So one level that you could possibly take a look at, I don't have a top, just got a consolidation, would be 22.54. That's the bottom of its profile. It's bullish in structure. So that's one possible area that you can note on your pad of paper. Four-hour time frame chart shows we might get a Rhodes momentum indicator pattern out here that confirms at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now, this is a bear structure profile. So I'd certainly wait to see how this unfolds because if price closes below the level of 2272 price closed below 2272 at 2 p.m. you're likely going to see a move to either 2231 or 2179 so those could be areas that you would look as well the two-hour time frame chart uh, likely going to form a roads momentum indicator top it'll do this at noon I believe is its candle yeah at noon so here, also a bearish structured profile. The level you're watching is 2264. If price were to close below that, odds would favor a push down to the 2231, maybe 2207 level. Really similar patterns inside of the 60-minute time frame chart, although at the moment it does not have any kind of bearish reversal candle, but uh, it's finding support at the top of its profile. I would say watch the bottom, which is at 2256. A close below that, 2207 can be a number that matches up with the two-hour time frame chart. So that's what I've got for you there. I would, uh, if we take a look at consecutive days to the upside, consecutive days to the downside, Tom, let's look at the uh, daily time frame. We can see that yesterday was bar number five of consecutive moves higher out there. That's a Yes, we should see anywhere between a one to three day pullback out there with two being the more ideal pattern. So maybe that's another thing to consider that today's not the day to try to be the hero out there. Although it could be, right? We got plenty of just simply one day moves to the downside after a strong move. But I would uh, I, I'd pay attention to what I was able to share with you so far. So wait to see how the day plays out. Certainly, you know, take a look at what's going on at two o'clock. If you if 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 that. Uh, if that uh, idea um, helped you to miss the trade, my apology out there. But I think with regard to the ES and the NQ back inside their profiles, well, in the case of the NQ, below profile out there, it would be prudent to uh, wait to begin your long position inside of the Russell 2000. So, Tom, I hope that helps you out. As always, good to hear from you. Thanks so much for writing in. We're about to go to a break out there. Uh, I'll check to see if we have any requests. Would love your help out there. 877-927-6648 or steve at tfnn.com. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? 
one simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We've got a couple of requests that have come in, so let's go ahead and get to uh, those. The first one is uh, PKG. Uh, that is the uh, ticker symbol out there. This is for Dan inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And so, Dan, we take a look at Packaging Corp out here. Uh, it is trading above on a daily basis, trading above uh, prior swing points for back in June, so we'll take a look at that. First on the uh, weekly time frame, if this week you get a close above, get my cursor out here, if you get a close above the high from April the 12th out there, and that high is 191.27, 192.64. If price closes above that, it will negate a TD9 count top. It would also, if closes above, let's see, which one was the higher price? I think it was this one. Also, a close above the high from June 28th, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, at uh, 191.39 would negate its roads mint indicator top out there. So both those tops took price back to a uh, profile support for the most part. We did get two consecutive closes below that uh, profile, bullish structure profile on a weekly basis. But once we got above that and closed above it on May 17th, that told us that the rally was more than a counter trend move out there. On a monthly time frame, what you're looking for at the end of the month is a close above the high from April. And that number out there is 191.27. If you get a close above that, that's top. That topping pattern will go away. So it's a monthly and the weekly that you just certainly want to pay attention to. Certainly on Friday, uh, just be aware of it on Wednesday. So we've taken care of that task. Now let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart. And on a daily basis out here, this formed a TD9 count bottom all the way back here on May. I'm sorry, on uh, April the 23rd. TD9 count top forms completes on May the 17th. You get a bit of a pullback out there. And then it moves higher. Now, the pullback, the most recent pullback, found support near its breakout level, 175.75 out there. And then a few days ago, 
on uh, July the 12th out there. Price closed above the top of its profile. It closed above it again on July 15th. That was a bearish shooting star candle. So yesterday when price closed above that, that was a bullish signal out there. Not that that bearish shooting star from two days ago generate any kind of a topping pattern out there. But we still, you can use that as an interpretation of where buyers and sellers are certainly lined up there. So you've taken that out. So what this is doing is potentially setting up an A to B equals CD pattern. The swing point out here is from June 24th. The volume was 661,000 shares. Yesterday, you moved into it with 411. Today, in just about two hours of trading, you are got 185,000 shares. So you're moving above that with light volume. That was 661, 185. You're still going to come in light. Nonetheless, that could still trigger an A to B equals CD pattern. Now, it's also dealing with this swing point from back on May, April 9th out there. That swing had volume of 100, I'm sorry, volume of 453,000. I might have got this wrong here. No, 88,000. Yeah, no. Um, so you're trying to take out a couple of swing points with lighter volume out there. Nonetheless, uh, let's take a look at what that, if you close above it, you close above it with or without volume, it's going to trigger, it would trigger an A to B equals CD pattern. We take a look at this. I'm just going to give you an approximation. I'm just going to move this line over, if we can, to the uh, C point out there. It's a, it's a doozy um, for those of you that like doozies. I think Dan would like a doozy here. So at A to B equals CD gives you an initial price target somewhere around 198. Don't quote, don't quote me to the dollar or to the penny, but you could do the A to B equals CD pattern out there. So uh, the daily looks pretty good. The issue is volume. It's summertime, so we can cut it a little bit of slack there. Like I say, you close above those uh, those those targets out there, it'll trigger that A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So that's the daily, that's the weekly, that's the monthly. Dan, I hope that information. Uh, helped you out. And if not, you'll let me know and we'll get to the information you were looking for. G-Man, let's take a look at SABA. S-A-V-A is the ticker symbol out here. Let's go take a look at that instrument. If we look at this and I don't remember what you're looking for, please take a look at SABA for me. Okay. So what we've got out here is today price is dealing with the bottom of its bullish structured profile. No idea where it's going to end the day. It's triggered roads meant to indicator signal out there. So let's assume that it stays below profile support. Profile support is at the uh, 996 level. Um, and then tomorrow you get a bullish reversal candle. You would get a confirmed roads meant to indicator bottom. We don't have any kind of bottom associated with the daily time frame that I've been able to identify. We just had a bit of a counter trend move at this stage here. Um, we are trading into that swing point that did have some gigantic volume, I would assume. June 28th, 17 million shares today so far. This has done, whoa, 11 million shares. We got more volume today inside of Saba. Uh, if you uh, if you just use straight line math, then that day that price really moved lower out there. So this suggests, since we're moving into that swing point, G-Man with volume, that that low from June 28th should get tested. And that low is 879 out there. That's on the daily time frame. Nothing bullish about the weekly time frame. As far as the next level of support out here, I don't really have one that I could identify. I can on the monthly time frame. That next level of support comes in at two dollars and seventy-eight cents. So you've got a monthly TD9 count bottom. We're trading below that low, that low being 12.32. So I'm gonna have to go with the call here. The first call is what happens as price tests that swing low from June 28th, which is what it should do, and that's at 8.79 out there. So G-Man, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for for Cassava Sciences. Uh, C-S-A-V-A uh, is the uh, ticker symbol, and as always, thanks so much for playing the game. Let's try to give Stevie something to go take a look at, which I is much appreciated. You may be able to tell my voice is a little weak today. My wife has been struggling with this nasty virus. I think she may have caught the one that I had about four weeks ago. So, you know, prepped and gave her all the medication. Of course, we're, you know, fairly close in this uh, house. I, when I should have slept in the same bed, so to speak, out there because I woke up this morning not feeling the greatest. Like, hey, maybe I'm getting a... Uh, a recap. Now, I'm going to try to be here tomorrow. You know, I do everything I can to uh, be here. Uh, I enjoy being here. Uh, but uh, if you're hearing a little bit less energy out there, uh, the good news is I've got I've got I've consumed just about everything that I can to uh, get rid of this uh, thing out there. In any event, let's move on from uh, Saba to LAC. And this is for Lee, who would like to take a look at a long term position. He wants to find a buy point for a longer term position out here. So, Lee. 
here's I'm going to first start off with the uh, weekly time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart has Rhodes momentum indicator signal, maybe a bottom. Let me uh, take take a look at this. So the prior week's high, July 5th, high was 277. Last week, 280. I think we have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on the weekly time frame. The low, 265 versus last week's low. 249. Okay, so on a weekly time frame for LAC, Lithium American Corp, I believe this is, you have a confirmed monthly, a weekly Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Now, what that has resulted in so far, Lee, is a test of resistance, which is the top of this profile, 309. So since we haven't taken that 309 level out, perhaps that's telling us that you're going to get some type of a pullback. That's the assumption we'll make on uh, July 17th at 1126 in the morning. So if that's the case, where would the buy area be? Well, one potential buy area would be 303, the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. So you may want to tinker in there uh, with a long position. But as price moves back to support, we should see some type of bottom signal on an intraday chart out there. So what we'll do when we get back from this break, we'll look at the TD9 count on the 30-minute time frame chart. And this suggests, Lee, that we could easily see a pullback to 291. So maybe it's 291 that you would begin starting that long position. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and, most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. So I take a look at the uh, 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 LAC, uh, the 30-minute, the 130, the 65, and so forth. The only one that's got that topping pattern, LB, is the 30-minute uh, time frame chart. So since we're below profile support, um, I would say, you know, if you're looking to try to begin a position, 291 or thereabouts would be the uh, price target area. Now, if price closed below 291, 274 would be the next move out there. Ideally, though, we would have seen a TD9 count bottom or some type of bottom on an intraday chart coming together as price gets back to the bottom of that daily profile. And the reason is... Because if you close back below the bottom of that profile, it could open up a move back to the oscillator and change zone, which is 254. So let's do this. Since you've got a weekly bottom, well, you do what you do what you think is right. Since you've got that weekly bottom, let's go with that 30-minute uh, buy zone at that uh, TD knockout breakout level or somewhere near that, and maybe begin adding a, a position there. So I hope that that analysis helped you out. And as always, thanks so much for your request. John Belaya, inside the Tigers Den, would like to take a look at the Dow Diamond. So let's do that by switching over to – let me see if this is the spot – Oh, I tell you, tell you what, before we do that, we've got a caller on the line. It is Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, thanks for calling, and thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve, and yourself? Doing well. Thanks so much for asking. And the ticker symbol that you are asking about is, I apologize, I didn't write it down. It's a high Leon, so H-Y-L-N is in Nancy. Perfect. So uh, I tell the folks of what you're doing and how I can best help you. Oh, I've been long this for quite a while. I, I, I'm happy with the move. It's made off that uh, yes. one cent low. Uh, my question, I guess, kind of specifically is that just me looking at the chart, it's fairly symmetrical on the weekly from – you know, that low point going back to the left-hand side of the chart and then going to the right-hand side of the chart, we've kind of hit those areas, you know, that are on the left-hand side. Is, is it, and I know it's in, I think it's in bar eight on the daily. Just, you know, it looks like there's a chance you could get up to, it's back around like January of uh, 2023. I think it's around, you know, 350, something like that. And just wondering about that possibility and just, just your thoughts in general looking at it. Yeah, so the weekly time frame, Brent, you've got a confirmed or you should have a confirmed weekly A to B equals CD pattern come Friday. The swing point that is taken out on a weekly basis is the swing point high from March 8th. And the volume there was only 4.5 million shares. I see only 4.5 million shares because we are already at for the week 4.6 million shares. So there's your confirmed A to B equals CD pattern. That price projection right now for the one to one level is around the 265 area. Prices right now along the left-hand side of that C to D leg. So, and it looks to me like this retracement, I haven't measured it, but it looks to me like that's less than a 0.618. I would think that this will do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C D pattern. Now, does it get all the way back to the recent highs from back in February, which would be anywhere between 338 and uh, 388 out there? That I don't know, but that would be a likely target. So that's the weekly chart. Uh, you had any questions about the weekly chart before I go take a look at the daily where you identified a possible uh, uh, TD9 count that could form over the next few days? Any questions about the weekly chart or something else that you yeah, might I, see? I, I, I came up with the same thing as far as the, the numbers and then also, I, I, you know, of course, your analysis of the, the steepness of this, you know, C to D leg. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, no, that's that's basically it. I, I, uh, I, but I had the same numbers that you had as far as okay. that potential Perfect. move so, and, and that it did have the volume that to have a confirmed A, B equals CD. Okay, excellent, excellent. So the monthly chart is beautiful, too, because it has a, a TD9 count bottom and price is well above the top of the monthly profile. In fact, it's pretty much been above that level for the last two, four, including this month, the last six months out there. It did have, it did spend one month just below the top of that profile. So longer term, this suggests to you and I that price would go target the 388 level. That would be the TD9 count breakdown area. 
So now let's take a look at the daily time frame. Let's just open up the daily chart out there. You were talking about symmetry or patterns repeating. Let's take a look at the last TD9 count top it formed out here. That was on the trading day of June 26. And what that led to was it led to a sideways movement for about, uh, let's just say, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trading sessions out there. And actually, what Price did was it pulled back and it tested and rejected support, which was the bottom of its bullish structured profile at 149. So will it do the same thing? When I say the same thing, will it just move sideways? So when you get a TD9 count pattern, one of three things is likely going to happen. Of course, somebody can say this about just about anything, which is going to move sideways, higher or lower. Well, geez, I just showed you my technical genius, didn't I? The point is, really, when you get these patterns, you pay closer attention. You're more likely to get that move of a reversal or a test of support. If this were to be a test of support, uh, Brent, and we don't know whether it will or it won't, because today is bar number eight, um, we're so far away from uh, the close of bar number five, uh, you've got a 90% plus chance that this is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count uh, top tomorrow and complete that pattern on Friday out there. Support here, in lieu of any new profiles that form, would be that oscillator and change on a 203. Not necessarily reason for you to jettison your position, because I think you're in a good position out there, just based on what we looked at on the weekly and the monthly time frame but the daily could be getting ready for a bit of a timeout and so i would be looking at that 203 level ideally uh, over the next few days it'll form a new profile and like it did last time out there and it, the last time it formed a new profile a few days after the td9 count pattern formed out there then we have something where price would come back and likely hit a certain support level so uh, does that make sense or is there anything that i have overlooked no that does i think you've uh you know, this, this seems like there is that possibility longer term to get up to those levels. And when we were I talking so. about the AV equals CD, it was a, when I measured it, it was a 50% retracement on, the, okay. on that uh, B to okay. C. Yeah, yeah. No, so it looks good. It's just, uh, you know, if we look at the um, daily time frame, this has got the monthly chart. So just uh, we look at consecutive days, the upside and downside. But let's just change this to the daily time frame out here and get a better feel for that TD9 count pattern. So wow, this is going to be, so this had seven seven days in a row to the upside. Today could be uh, eight days in a row to the upside. But the point that I really wanted to make here is when you get above four, uh, we had that five day move back here in the trading day of June 27th. Once you do that, that's a fairly solid indication of a change in trend in that direction. And then we saw a two, dar, a two bar pullback. It's very possible, Brent, regardless of uh, uh, the support levels that we took a look at, that when this does form that TD9 count uh, topping pattern, maybe all you really get is just a two day pullback out there. So I had, I'd watch for that as well. But I, I like the trade. I like the position. I like what we took a look at on the daily and the weekly or the monthly in the weekly time frame. We didn't even go back to take a look at the daily out there. So that's what I see. Is there anything else that I can do for you? I think that's it, Steve. I, as always, appreciate it, appreciate it so much. Just have yourself a great day and a great rest of your week. You bet. Always my pleasure, and thanks so much for calling. That was Brent in Martinez, California. We come back to this break. We'll go take a look at the Dow Diamonds, NNE, Natural Gas, BRT, and JBHT. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keck Stack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the Dow Dimes out here. Actually, we take a look at all four instruments for the daily time frame uh, dealing with the uh, Dow. The first one is going to be the uh, Dow Equity Future contract, upper left-hand side out there. You can see it's in an A to B equals CD pad on the upside. Needs a bearish reversal candle to uh, confirm a top. The same thing with the uh, cash indice out there. So no top. And the same thing with regard to the Dow Diamonds. We're in bar number six for all three of those instruments. They need a bearish reversal candle to identify a top. Short of that price should move higher. Now, we have the equal weighted ETF that's going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top today and complete that pattern tomorrow out there. So you want to pay attention to this. Maybe we're getting close to some type of top inside of the Dow, but that requirement is going to be some type of bearish reversal candle for those other three instruments out there. Uh, oftentimes, the uh, equal weighted ETF will give you a heads up on uh, what the uh, market or what the instrument's intention is out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at the Dow Diamonds. And my apology, I did not write down who made that request. But I do know who made this request, and that is Jambalaya inside the Tiger's Den. And that was to take a look at ticker symbol NNE. Now, in this case here, it has a TD9 count top. Uh, the top formed on bar number eight on June 25th out there. And now we have price that is back inside its daily profile. This has a a buy zone uh, jambalaya between 11.18 and 17.03. I see a series of the last five, six days of lower highs out there. Um, so it looks to me like price should go target the 17.03 area. It hasn't traded enough. We don't have enough data for either the weekly or the monthly time frame in order to generate any kind of profiles out there. Now, we do have a little bit of rally going on right now today. If we look at its consecutive moves higher and lower out there, we had a three-day move to the downside. So it's not, it would not be unusual to see a two-bar move to the upside before it uh, resumes lower out there, which is likely what it is going to do. And I'd be looking for this to potentially find support somewhere between 17, well, somewhere between 11.18 and 17.03. I know that's a wide profile, but it's the data that we've got out there. And so that's the data that we've got to go with. So I hope that helps you out. We had a request to take a look at natural gas. I don't know if that was you as well, um, but uh, might have been. So let's take a look at natural gas. I believe whoever did make that request was looking for some support, profile support, or, or uh, well, really support on a daily, weekly, and monthly. Now, it's the August contract that we are trading right now, but I believe that this rolls into September next week, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Don't hold me to that. But right now, what I can share with you is I do not see any kind of 
profile support, any kind of support. If we take the um, monthly chart and go back, I probably have to get, I've got to get to a continuous contract uh, because we're trading below all kinds of lows out there. But before we do that, let me just throw up the September contract. Maybe there's some profile information here that uh, you would want to be aware of. And if not, there's nothing much that I can do about that. So when I look at the daily September contract, no support, the same thing on the weekly, the same thing on the monthly out there. The monthly chart shows us we're trading below a monthly hammer candle. Of course, we're not at the end of July, but when you do trade below the uh, when you do when you do if you close below the bottom of hammer candle, basically it says if you're long, you're wrong. Let's see if this shuts off my screen. I hope that it doesn't. And let's take a look at natural gas, which I believe we are in or heading towards. It's very unfavorable seasonal time frame out there. Where is it? It's got to be right here. We go. Natural gas. And, oh, maybe I had that wrong. But let's see, good, 33 years. So, actually, we are in that unfavorable seasonal cycle that typically bottoms out around, the, around next week out here. So, um, what does that say? Don't know that it's going to follow that pattern. But if it does, what you'd be looking for, because there certainly is a large A to B equals CD pattern on the downside. So, what I would be looking for here in natural gas, if you're going to try to play the seasonal, is some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern out there. So, I hope that helps whoever it was that made that request out. And let's go on to uh, ticker symbol VRT. That is a request from Mohammed. Mohammed went long at about 86 bucks. Well, um, what you don't want to see this do, we just talked about hammer candles out there. And there's a hammer candle that formed on July uh, uh, July 1st out there. And the low Mohammed is at 82.81. If price were to close below 82.81, you're going to get a daily A to B equals CD pattern to the downside out there. Now, what price is doing right now, and I'm not saying that price is going to be able to get down there. I don't know. Price is trading into its buy zone. So the buy zone on a daily time frame is between the low and the center of its profiles, 84.61 to 87.31. What you're really watching for is the 84.61. Price closer below that. Now we're trading that hammer candle swing point, which is volume of 8.6 million shares. So far, in a little over two hours of trading, we've done, oh my goodness, 5 million shares. So VRT may not be the place that you want to be. The reason is, so I needed to swig. Um, first, if you get a close below 84.61, profile support will have failed. Because you're trading inside that hammer candle um, with volume, then it says that low should be tested. doesn't say it's going to get broken. It says it will be tested out there. And again, that low is at 82.81. If you close below that, that'll set up an A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. Now, on a weekly time frame, the level of support that's being tested as well is 83.59. That's the bottom of its weekly profile. So that's another area for you to be watching. Uh, maybe the daily pattern fails, but the weekly pattern holds. I don't know. Um, but I'm just giving you where the battlegrounds are for those different time frames out there. And on a monthly time frame, actually, you know, things look pretty good. I'd be hard pressed at least with this amount of data to draw in an A to B equals CD pattern, but maybe if we pull, yeah, no. So I don't have any kind of a, I do not have a topping pattern inside the monthly chart. That tells me that it's really the weekly chart and the daily chart that is dr uh, driving this train out there. So watch the hammer candle, watch the bottom of that daily profile, and of course, watch the bottom of that weekly profile. So Mohammed, I hope that that helps you out and best of luck to you on that trade. You also want to look at JBHT out here. This is trading right now at 162. Uh, this is doing what? So, do we see any kind? Oh, okay. So, this rallied yesterday into this gap. So, this had a big gap to the downside. Uh, April the 17th moved down with 3.7 million shares. Yesterday, you were moving into that with... 1.9 million shares. The gap is still open. So at some point in time, perhaps that's going to go ahead and get filled out there. But right now today, um, and it really looks like it was the weekly time frame chart that was the culprit for uh, saying, you know what, that move yesterday was maybe a bit too much. That's because it was dealing with that TD9 count breakdown resistance lever, Mohammed. That's at 172.30. Mm. Now, here on the weekly chart, price is all the way back below its bullish structure weekly profile. The key level of support, 
today, tomorrow, and Friday is going to be 162 and change. At the moment, it's 162.14. If you see a clear break of that level, close below that level, you're going to go back, or this is going to go back and uh, experience the uh, uh, lows from June the 14th out there. Now, that candle session did volume of 3.3 million shares so far, and not even halfway through, we're at 4.5 million shares. So you're moving into a swing point. Oh, you're really moving to that swing point with the uh, volume. Watch that 162.14 ish area. You close below that, and VRT is likely to go test that low from that weekly time frame. So I do hope that that helps you out. Uh, uh, LAC, I got that for Mr. Bill. So now let's go take a look at VICR, which we'll do when we get back from this breakout here. This is going to be for ELO. VICR trade out at 38.47. And we'll finish the rest of that when we get back from this break. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the Vicor Corp out here. So we pull back the daily uh, chart out here. We can see what it's doing, why it's doing it. And that is the following, that this had a gigantic gap to the downside back on February 23rd. The volume on that gap to the downside was 1.5 million shares. The top of that gap or the high of that candle is at uh, 4038. Yesterday, you moved into that level with volume of 331,000 shares. 331 moving into 
1.5 million shares. So what's going on, what maybe have happened yesterday, because I don't see any other kind of topping pattern, is those folks that happened to buy into that uh, instrument and maybe had bought in on February 23rd, when that thing went all the way down to the uh, $31 level, they might have been saying to themselves, you know what? If this thing can get back to break even, I'm going to go ahead and sell. So that's all I see on the daily time frame for you for Vicar, V-I-C-R, uh, Vicor Corporation. On a weekly time frame chart, you got price that got up towards resistance. That was the top of its profile out there. Your price can close this week to, on Friday about 37.64. Then it should uh, try to make that move to 4028. You got the oscillator and change on, on the monthly time frame that is acting as resistance right now. So you got that resistance, the daily uh, uh, move to the downside out here. And the question is, does price close above 3764? So watch that on Friday. I think that would be very helpful to you. So where do we go to finish out today's trading session? What do we want to take a look at? Well, there was a question about take a look at the NQ futures out here. So let's go ahead and pull those back up on my screen. The question was, where is support? There's a possibility that we're at support already, which is 2462.20. In the low so far of the day, 2462.10 is the bottom of that bullish structure profile in the five hour time frame chart. The five hour time frame chart has a TD nine count top. If price were to close below 2462, maybe we're looking to move down to the 2416. Now, one reason why that's possible, that that was a support level, is because if we switch back to my other charts, we take a look at the Apogee pivot point for the ES Mini. So this is gonna be another area for you to watch uh, throughout the uh, day out there, as soon as I can uh, pull that up. And that level is at 5642. 5642 is at Apogee pivot point, which we are still trading above. Price closes below that, we likely can, uh, can we likely will see a further move to the downside in both the NQ and the ESP. Folks, uh, take care. Have a uh, wonderful Wednesday. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow.